Okay. Do you see it? Nothing? You can see it? Yeah, don't worry about me then. I'll just have to go back in or something. That's what I had to do. Oh, all right. Cool. Okay. All right. Hello, and welcome to our project. This is Team C Level from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, we have chosen to do a project for the Fish Hackathon based upon problem statement number 1511. Uh, design a tool which fishers can use to quickly ascertain the sea level rise, storm surge, and flooding risk in their area. We started with a series of processes, uh, generate assumptions for input, allow users to modify assumptions, and generate a predictive model. Uh, we wanted to combine that user in input with economic and agricultural data, evaluate potential factors, and economic impact. Let me give you a short demo of how the project works. Location is automatically set based upon uh, your current geolocation although you can make modifications to that. And then you can choose the location next to uh, where it is that you want to um, uh, locate your aquacultural facility. Choose a, a year of projection, uh, 5, 10, 15, or 30, and then review the changes in the uh, sea level elevation. <clears throat> Here you can see the density uh, of the uh, of the um, associated uh, fisheries and aquacultural facilities within a given area. Definitely going to have to do this twice. <laughs> Uh, our goals were a sustainability model. Uh, we really wanted to create um, uh, some sort of a tool for automated zonal planning uh, and report on economic impact that was associated with that zonal planning. Uh, we wanted to have a good timeline associated with that so we could see 5, 10, 15 years in the future from the date that we chose as being our target. So sustainability uh, information was hard to come by. Almost everywhere we turned, sustainability information was um, almost non-existent. Uh, what we want to see in the future, uh, and with the floodplain projector, is the overlay of FEMA data, uh, the status of nearby fisheries, uh, with um, some of that data related in farming and hatchery densities, and uh, then to look at some overall reviews of the aquatic invasive species uh, available in that, uh, and the impact that they have either directly on the fisheries or directly on the aquacultural facility itself. Here's some of the successes that we think we've had so far. Uh, we created a, a simple model for sea elevation changes. We allow users to modify the timeline. Uh, we combined location data with fisheries and aquacultural trends so that we could assess economic vulnerability and viability within the same areas. And then we would provide a floodplain overlay for risk evaluation. Uh, in the application, you may have noticed that some of the data uh, was uh, associated with FEMA zones. Uh, these are uh, tiles in, tiled uh, maps that, are, that have been provided for review of how the floodplain areas are, uh, are, um, have been identified over time, uh, showing areas where they have minimal and max, maximum uh, effect. We used a tiling method rather than calculating the border uh, arrangements or associations with the location that we chose to uh, identify 
whether or not the location fell within one of the floodplains. Uh, this information was large and uh, requires a lot of client-side computation. We prefer to uh, uh, bring that scale down. Ultimately, we want to have uh, a report from these assessments. So we've collected Google's loca locative data, uh, the sea level rise from NOAA, floodplain data from FEMA, and then we have uh, quite a few other places that we've located data from that we want to include in this evaluation. We process that data to get density mapping to show the changes in elevation and uh, to create tiles that associate their regions with floodplain data, uh, economics, and ultimately invasives, and then to provide them with the ability to make uh, temporal-based modifications to that data as well as locative changes so that they can see uh, information for a specific region. We'd like to see that in a sustainability map showing infographics as well as uh, scores and threat assessments based upon information that we've gathered. We still want to provide more information about affordable compute, how we're going to break this down into a workflow and provide the most cost-effective method for delivery. Uh, we still need to find the most reliable and the largest data sources that we possibly can for all of the information and verify that as frequently as we can. And then also find uh, the sort of the sweet spots for where uh, we're doing the uh, evaluations at the right regional and local uh, um, levels. Thanks for considering our project and we hope to see you soon.